Now in today's video, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know how I wanna start off. And it's only because there's so much shit I could start this video off with. Like right now, I feel like Thanos when he had all the Infinity Stones. Cause I have everything I need right now to tell you Xbox fans a whole new asshole right now. Now before I start my little rant, I just wanna say that both consoles, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have their place as far as next gen consoles go. One system can do one thing that the other can't, and one system have one thing that the other system can't seem to have. Now, with that being said, let me start my rant. Now, not too long ago, I made a video on my channel pretty much saying what was the point of having an Xbox Series X. And this was a question that I had as an Xbox fan because I didn't understand the point of getting the Xbox Series X if I already have a PC that can do closer to things, if not more than what the Xbox Series S can do. And I know people are going to say, hey, you're missing out on a lot, man. You're missing out on Game Pass. You're missing out on backwards compatibility. But what people fail to realize is that a PC is a gaming console in of itself. I can do Game Pass on my PC. They have a Microsoft app on my PC. You can download it right now as we speak and subscribe to Game Pass and play Ori, Cuphead. You can play all those Xbox games right now without having to buy an Xbox Series X, especially like I just said, your PC can run close, if not better than what the Xbox Series S can do. And as far as backwards compatibility, this is a PC, man. Like we can emulate a shit ton of consoles right now as we speak. We can play PlayStation on this PC right now if we wanted to and then some so yeah you're damn right I'm asking what's the point of getting the Xbox Series X if anything that video was for you guys to tell me the reason why I should get the damn console to be honest and especially if I'm the person spending $500 or more for the damn console and with video games finna be $70 for the next couple years Yes, I have valid questions as to why I need to buy this console if I can do all those things that I said a PC can do that an Xbox can do. And then on a PC part, I didn't even touch the bottom of the barrel as far as the things you can do with the damn PC. Like, don't get me started on mods. And then on the PlayStation 5 part of things, let's keep it real. PlayStation 5 has way better games than the Xbox Series X. And yes, if that's right now, I only can imagine what the games PlayStation is gonna have in the future. And it's just so, it's just such a coincidence that after I made that video talking about what exclusive the Xbox have that I can look forward to when buying the Xbox Series X console, it's just a coincidence that after I said that Xbox come out and says that they won't be having any exclusive to the Xbox Series X for the next few fucking years. Now, do I really look stupid now after all that shit that just happened after the fact? And then in the comment section, everybody, I mean, not everybody, I might as well say Xbox fans. Xbox fans is blowing up my damn comment section talking about some, you're misinformed, you're wrong about this, you need to do research. And then come to figure out, they was talking about a damn showcase about what games that's coming for the Xbox Series X. Now, everybody saw the Xbox showcase event. Let's be honest about that. That showcase was ass. Other than the fact that y'all got a Fable announcement, and I'm not even a Fable fan, but Fable is one of those highly requested games on Xbox, so I'm not gonna shit on it, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Other than the fact that Fable got announced, that showcase was ass. And two of the games that I might have been interested in, which was Battle in Wonderland and Psychonauts 2, yeah, <laughs> they were on PlayStation 5 as well. But the Xbox showcase didn't show that, did they? And then one of the most anticipated games coming to Xbox, Halo Infinite, or in my words, Halo Doom Edition, because that shit didn't look like nothing but a sci-fi version of Doom Eternal. That shit was an embarrassment because it looked like shit even though this is supposed to be gameplay coming from an Xbox Series X, but then they said, oh no, this is not from a Series X. This is from a PC. <laughs> yeah, right, nigga. And then even on PC standards, it's not supposed to look that bad. Like. That shit look like an Xbox 360 game. And yeah, yeah, I know the game is still under development. It's not done yet. But I'm one of those people that if the game isn't finished or it doesn't look good enough to showcase to the people, then don't fucking show it. Now, this tells me one or two things of them showing this bum ass gameplay. Either A, Xbox ain't really had that many good games to showcase. So they was like, hey, throw them some Halo Infinite gameplay. Hopefully they happy about that. Let them lead a the conference with something to be, you know, satisfied with. Or B, they saw PlayStation 5's gaming conference and was like, holy shit, let, let, let's hurry up and put out some, some gameplay of Halo. And I know people are going to be ignorant to the whole situation and say things like, Xbox ain't worried about PlayStation and PlayStation ain't worried about Xbox. Let, let's make this very clear. 
Xbox and PlayStation has been playing chess and checkers with each other for over the last 5 to 10 years. It's the reason it's not a damn price drop on any one of these consoles yet. And another thing about the Xbox showcase that bothered me was the fact that at the end of the showcase they was like, we have more games coming to the Series X, but for some reason they didn't end up showing them. Like, did they not show them because of time reasons or something? Like, because if that was the case, they could have took that whole opportunity to just show only Xbox Series X games. Instead of wasting our time showing us third party games that are coming out for the PlayStation 5 and the current gen consoles, you could have really took this time to really just show us the games that are set to come out for the Xbox Series X five years from now, seeing as you guys not dropping anything for the first three years that are anything exclusive for the Xbox Series X, you could have shown us games that are going to come out five years from now that you guys are working on. like. I was hearing rumors that a new Ninja Gaiden was coming out before this whole conference started. It was also rumors of a new Banjo-Kazooie, it was also new rumors of a Jet Set Radio. Now those are all classic Xbox games and I'm pretty sure a lot of Xbox fans would appreciate. Now if those games was coming out, what, in the next 5 years or so, I'm pretty sure most Xbox fans wouldn't mind at all. Just the thought that the game is being made and that it's in development. That's enough to make us happy, or at least that's enough to make me happy. Y'all wouldn't even have to give us gameplay. All you would have to do is just put the damn name of the game up there that's being developed for the next five to 10 years, and I would've been cool with that. But you guys didn't do that. And in result, you guys had a shitty gaming conference. So much so that around the time that the conference ended, you could've Googled Microsoft stocks, and you would've seen that this shit was going down. And I mean down like super fucking fast. Like, people were so mad that the conference was so underwhelming. Like, did you guys really think that Xbox was gonna really show some shit? Especially before the conference, they said that they are not gonna have any exclusives for the next three years. All of the Xbox fans that blew up my comment section saying I was wrong and I was lazy and etc. All of the Xbox fans that disliked my video, guess what? Y'all played yourselves because even me, an Xbox fan, knew that some shit like this was gonna happen. For the last five to six years, I've only been disappointed by Xbox because they only show bullshit at their gaming conferences. Ever since the Xbox One came out, Xbox has been falling off as far as games. Let's be honest, like the only games that really made me feel happy to have an Xbox, because I did have an Xbox One before I had a PlayStation 4 for those who didn't know, the only games that really made me feel happy to have an Xbox were Killer Instinct, Ori, and Cuphead. Other than that, I was pretty much spending the motherfucking rest of the time on the Xbox One playing backwards compatibility games. And that was only until I got my game in PC and I stopped playing backwards compatibility games on my Xbox One altogether because I found out I could play those games on my damn PC. And Xbox fans, if you're really ready to have that talk, I'll keep it 100% honest with you. Nintendo gaming consoles have a way better chance of lasting longer than Xbox gaming consoles. Hell, some will even say PlayStation consoles as well. But PlayStation has a place in this gaming competition because guess what? They actually come out with game exclusives. They come out with games that make the PS5 worth buying, right? What the Nintendo can give in those mature games, PlayStation 5 makes up for it. But if you compare an Xbox Series X gaming library to a Nintendo Switch gaming library, guess what? Nintendo Switch wins. Because besides Xbox Series X ability to play backwards compatibility in their good ass Game Pass deal, what can the Xbox Series X really offer that the PlayStation 5 can't offer you right now? And before y'all start typing hella aggressive in the comment section, let me just answer it for y'all. The specs. And let me tell y'all something about these specs, man. Because I already know the Xbox is perceived to be a more powerful console than the PlayStation 5, but let's not make it seem like the PlayStation 5 isn't getting a graphical upgrade as well. Like, y'all really make it seem like it's that big of a difference as far as the graphical power between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. We are coming from current gen consoles, and y'all people are telling me that y'all gonna be able to tell the difference between the PlayStation 5 graphics and the Xbox Series S graphics. Let's be honest, no you won't, because unless you have a 55 inch TV or bigger with a good name brand, you really won't be able to tell the difference between the power. Both consoles support 8K resolution and go up to 120 frames per second. And guess what? 
the majority of people who are buying these consoles don't even know what the fuck that is. They don't know what a teraflop is. They don't know what a RDNA 2 is. They don't know what any of this shit is in these consoles. All they care about is can they play Fortnite? Can they play their Spider-Mans? Can they play their God of Wars? Their Cuphead? That's all they care about. So all this shit about specs and this and that on what console is more powerful, guess what? It doesn't fucking matter right because if you want to talk to a person who's coming from a fucking gaming pc trust me this shit might fuck around be a downgrade for me so let's not make it seem like this whole spec shit is the end all be all as far as these consoles because most likely these are moms and dads buying these consoles for their kids who are around 16 to 18 all right all you 24 year olds and all you other 30 year old niggas who probably play these games and bitch about the graphics and here and there Guess what? Nigga, at this point, you should have a PC because if you really care that much about the power, why not just get a damn gaming PC? Y'all bitch about the parts costing more than the actual console, but guess what? If you actually invested in these pieces instead of spending fucking 500 every other six years for a new console, then maybe you wouldn't have to worry about shit like this. Now, that's all I have to say as far as this Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 shit goes. Like, and let's not make it seem like if the PlayStation was to fuck up, I'm not gonna call it out because I am, all right? Because at the end of the day, I'm wasting my money on both these fucking consoles. Like, I don't need to be fucking wasting my money on anything. So if the PlayStation was to fuck up, guess what? I'll save my money. I'll save my money until they come out with a better version of the console that makes me more happy and satisfied. The same goes for the Xbox too. Now I am gonna end up getting both the consoles like I said in my other video, all right? So this whole thing about which one is better and I'm only making this video because you Xbox fans was being so fucking butthurt. And I'm an Xbox fan that has to tell y'all niggas the truth. Like, it's okay to be an objective fan. The whole point of being a fan is fucking giving criticism. Like, you have to give criticism. How else is they gonna be? Like, come on, man. Like, that's all I have to say in this video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I very much appreciate it. It's your boy Trigger Senpai, and I'm out, man. Niggas talking about Spider-Man Miles Morales is gonna be an expanded DLC. Like, man, y'all niggas wish y'all had an eight-hour Spider-Man over there in that dry-ass library. Niggas finna be over there playing Tinkerbell Simulator and Bootleg Doom Guy. Like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, man.